Okay, hey, welcome to Cap Video Extraordinaire. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about caps. It's going to take a long time. It's going to probably take two parts or something. So, let's get everything straight. Get the light right. Let's get everything focused. Yeah, okay. Caps. There are two basic types of caps. Uh, we're talking about dress caps. Like, you know, not baseball caps. Um, not military caps. We're talking about... Stuff like this. You now, like grandpa's British cap, flat caps and newsboys. There are two groups. There's a skinny type of cap that's sort of just like a wedge shape. And there is a baggy type of cap that has a button on the top. Eight sections usually. They usually snap down. That's called a newsboy. The flat type is called an ivy cap or a flat cap. In the business, we call these newsboys. And we call the other type ivy caps. An ivy cap is like this, just a wedge shape. All right, there's your ivy, there's your newsboy. Ivy cap is narrow. Newsboy cap is wide. Newsboy generally snaps, so you've got ways to do it like this. You could go back, which is unorthodox, generally. Snap it, you go to the side like that. They do make something very close to a newsboy. Some people like to wear the cap back like this, but they don't want the snap to show. There's something called a Spitfire, otherwise known as a Baker Boy, also known as a three-way cap. Of course, you could go forward to the side and back. Uh, Spitfire, what else, there's another name for it, I forgot, Baker Boy, anyway, whatever, something like a Liverpool or something, anyway, these have no snaps, so you can go back like this, it's good. the girls really like these, it's very common with girls, with rock and rollers, younger people, the Baker Boy go back, but you could also get a standard newsboy look if you just bring it forward. It's just no snap, but it looks exactly the same, no difference. Snap or no snap, you wear it the same. This cap's just too big on me, so it's falling down. Um, the third way to wear it, yeah, that's why it's just too big. It's, going, it's like extra large or something. Third way is you go backwards, and you have essentially a beret. So a baker boy or a newsboy does this very well. Beret, front, regular newsboy going front, newsboy to the side. Or backwards, that kind of rock and roll, Liverpool thing. All right. Now your your best newsboy caps are generally Irish made, uh, Irish tweeds, hand woven. There are two big companies out in Ireland. One of them is called Hannah Hats. They're also known as Donegal Tweeds. Usually they use a lot of these Donegal Tweeds from the town of Donegal. It's a special town where they make these really authentic Irish Tweeds. Now Hannah uses plastic in the bill here instead of uh, cardboard. Most of them use cardboard. The plastic won't break. And you shape it. It's not gonna deteriorate with water and crack. Generally the first thing to die on these caps are the peaks. So when they're not made out of cardboard and they're plastic, that's a really good upgrade also because you can wash it. You can hand wash it and the water's not going to ruin the cardboard. So, two brands, Irish Tweeds, your Hannah hats. Very authentic. They have these pleats. Kind of a pleated action. So they're unlike all the others. A little more authentic. You can see it in the shadows, the way it pleats down. We call this model the Gatsby. That's the Gatsby. The authentic, traditional. It's got those colored flecks. Now the other really big brand in Ireland is called Jonathan Richards. Jonathan Richards is slightly more expensive, thicker. It's like the thickest caps out there. They're known for these really big herring bones. These sort of exaggerated herring bones like this. Jonathan Richardson might set you back 125, but it's probably like the warmest, thickest 
cap you can get, you know, I mean, look at this, it's like a sweater. I mean, it's literally like thick, like a big Irish bulky sweater. It's like the warmest, thickest cap pretty much available. It's big enough that you can put your ears in here. My ears are inside when it's freezing. This is called the Tully. Jonathan Richards, newsboy from Ireland. I mean, look at that. Look at the quality on that. It's one of the best arounds. The Gatsby is a little more traditional. This is a little bit thicker, modern. Yeah, they're both trash. All right. Here's one you don't see very often. The Deerstalker. Deerstalker is also known as the Sherlock Holmes. It's got ear flaps for the cold. It's an old like a hunting, British hunting. So you do like this here. You call this Deerstalker. Later, good night. See you Sunday. See you Sunday morning, bro. So, yeah, I'm closing the store here alone after work, doing some caps. The Stalkers, this one is from New Zealand. Hills hats, it's a really classy outfit. Hills, rainproof stuff, very authentic, traditional British looking. We also make these kind of things in these fabrics. If you want a really heavyweight deer stalker, we do a Sherlock Holmes from Ireland made out of the same Tully fabric. They're like, you know, a little more, maybe 150, one or so. Okay. And back, we also have something called the Greek Fisherman. You guys, remember this from the Beatles, Hard Day's Night? Right now, they're super trendy for girls. These are guys' hats, but we sell a lot of them for girls right now. They come in cotton or wool, black, blue, gray, brown, and wool. Uh, in cotton, they come white, blue, denim blue, uh, khaki, beige, um, black, I don't know, I forgot what other color. They come both ways, and they also come in 100% cashmere. There's a uh, beautiful cashmere version with you know, velvet inside. It's gorgeous, super quality one that I don't have with me right now. The Greek fishermen, these are only 45 bucks. They actually come from Greece. It's a great gift for, I don't know, grandpa, for your girlfriend, your boyfriend is a little edgy, he wants a sort of a cool, I don't know, rock and roll look for 45 bucks. These are really nice. It's got the, you know, leather type, like band, the satin lining. This is the Big Apple. Big Apple's the widest cap in here. Very, very rare cap. So Newsboy, that's huge. It's kind of like the way they made him in the 40s, like the real gangster type. It's also something that like somebody like Lenny Kravitz or Hide would wear. I don't know if anybody knows Hide from X Japan. It's like a big, puffy, oversized, exaggerated cap. This is great for rosters who need like, you know, well, they've got a lot of locks that fit in there. It's also cool for big guys with big face or somebody who's into the uh, nostalgic thing and just wants the real deal. Donny Hathaway, 1970s, 40s, Big Apple. What else we got going? I'm going to say the most popular style today is going to be the skinny ivy cap. This is our number one seller. This is the Valley Hop Sack from Stetson. Basically, it's got that clean front really skinny like nothing sticking off the sides skinniest cap we sell this comes in brown and gray um, this is contemporary it's what the young people like today they come in the first thing they say is I'm looking for a cap that's skinny that's the skinny cap we have one more skinny cap that comes in like a zillion colors actually two more this is the Rudy this is a cashmere cap that's waterproof. We carry a 100% cashmere cap from Italy called the Rudy with a crushable brim. The brim is actually foam and this is so waterproof you can pour water off of it like fast. The water slides off of it. The cap's completely dry. Big puddle on the floor. Believe me it works. I did it. Um, this is a 100% waterproof hat. It's beautiful. Look at that lining. It's called the Rudy. You can take this, go to a restaurant, fold it into a little square. Bam. This is class. Rudy also comes in a regular non-cashmere version in black, gray, green plaid, and this blue and red plaid. It's Italian. It's got like the nicest lining of any piece of headwear I've ever seen. Italian. Here's another skinny cap. 
Might be the last one for tonight. Uh, maybe two more. We'll do two more. Ear flaps. Ear flap caps are popular. They're flaps that can either tuck inside or they can tuck over, like a Sherlock Holmes type of thing. This is Doria. Doria is the guys who used to make the old Borsalino caps. They were gone for a while. They just made a comeback. The Dory is probably the most famous ear flap cap there is, except for the Kangol. Kangols used to be made in England, and they started making them in China, so we stopped carrying those ear flap caps years ago. So this is pretty much one of the best ones. It's, it's wool with a little silk. Um, yeah, they always look goofy with the ears down, but you get the last laugh because you're warm. This comes in brown or blue herringbone, ivy shape or newsboy shape, so four varieties. Doria, news, uh, Doria ear flap caps. I'm going to do one more cap, one last cap for tonight, and I'm going to come back with the super, super cap episode tomorrow. I'm going to do one last one. Oh, here it is. They're called the JJ Slim. It's another skinny cap. This is pretty much epitomizes like what's in fashion right now. People want nothing on the sides. They don't want anything hanging off the sides. The JJ Slim, they solved the problem of the skinny cap being too shallow. What they did is they made a sort of a rainbow cut design in the back, which gives it depth, but keeps it narrow on the sides. We do these JJ Slims in like four or five herring bones, blue, green, tan, gray, all sorts of herring bones. We do one in 100% cashmere, we do them in plaids. There's a zillion versions of these. These are all custom and made to our specs. Um, I'm gonna say that's super popular. The other one that's like insanely popular is this Valley Hop Sack. This is the one that your grandson or boyfriend or, or dad or anybody will like because it's like, this is in fashion right now. The skinny, skinny, skinny caps. Good night, Rod. Anyway, I need to call it a night because my, my co-workers all want to go home and stuff. So we're going to prepare a really big cat video for you guys soon. So I want you to just hang in there. Um, we might have somebody filling in for me next week or, or very soon. I have actually a, a brother. His name is Francis, and he might uh, fill in for a couple of episodes. He's been studying, and he says he wants to be a guest host. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to give him a whole episode or not, or just maybe a little guest spot. So we'll see. Anyway. Kevin from JJ Hudson, too. Whoa.